okay youtube today we have a very special video out there today we are not we are not going to learn world of warships we are not going to learn anything related to tactics strats anything we are today going to learn something related to psychology hmm. so i am demonstrating psychology using a world of warships game through indian tutorial youtube channel right here boys and girls like and subscribe maybe report me as well who knows so anyway the game has started it's a domination game there are two destroyers in it there's a aircraft carrier there are two battleships and a bunch of cruisers right so the battleships if any one of the battleships you lose they die right because there are a lot of cruisers people will just kite out and farm you normally that's what happens so battleships roll just tank, get a flank, delete the cruisers, win the game, right? Support your own cruisers with tanking and you win. DDs, DDs stay alive, cab, get out, win. That, that's how you win. It's a simple game. You don't have to apply too much knowledge. You don't have to position. You don't have to ping someone and tell them that there's a cap at A. There are three ships there. There's a Venezia Smolink Marsa. If anyone of you watching has played the game for a long time, Pushing Smolings, Marso and Venezia is the worst experience ever because these guys will just smoke up, kite or just zoom at fucking 50 knots and just keep farming you. Like, then why is someone telling them to run away from there? I don't understand. Why, why, why would you do that? So that's what I'm telling the team. Why don't leave A, just defend. Just defend there. You don't have to YOLO in push or do anything there. You just have to stop them from capping or farm them as they come. So here I actually wanted to see if I could lob some EP shells on the Des Moines. But one thing I noticed is the Kurfus and GK both have shots and my concealment has hit the cap radius and the destroyer has started capping. So I kite out and get away. Oh look we have what we have found. There's a Minotaur 13km away. There's a Montana 17. So I just accelerate, turn out, dodge the shot. All well and done. Good job. Now we have a Moskva in a very cheeky position. He has radar on everything. He radars, spots Harugumo, spots a Minotaur. And now it's a free kill. The Montana deletes the Minotaur. Moskva, Hindenburg delete the Harugumo. Like, if this flank is won, GG. The other flank just has to defend. That is what is happening on the other flank as well. The Marso is trying to get use of the island to get a spot on the Shima while not being spotted himself. That's what he is doing. The mosque fucking detonates the Rugumo. God. <laughs> anyway, someone got some much needed detonation flags out of it, I guess. They are very expensive, I know. Now, at this point, I could have just stayed here, just farmed them behind the island, but I was like, I was getting bored. All the games that I had in South today were boring, so I was like, you know what, let's at least push up a bit and, you know, uh, maybe create a crossfire with the Shima Smaland and I see both of these guys are now pushing. The Kurfus is in the, I think, in the mood of A pushing, as we call it. He's just going to go bow in straight and try to do something and die. That's what mainly a stereotypical Kurfus players does. Don't know why. Don't know where the brawling mentality comes from. If you have a ship which literally is an island, why does an island move? No. Does why does a Kurfus move so much and get into bad positions and then die? No idea. Anyway. Uh, the Kurfus is sort of still still pushing and he will keep pushing in hindsight. So I just drop torps in the general direction of the Kurfus and the Montana because if they turn in, they will eat my torps. Like if they like slightly turn out, they will eat them anyway. But the small land is on the other side. Though. So they, ha they have to choose. They either have to eat my torps or either have to eat the small land torps. And if they keep pushing more, they even have to eat the Shimakaze stop. So there are three tops coming from three different directions. You can't dodge all three unless you are Euro or, you know, I don't know, pro players. And, but these two are clearly not. But the Montana realizes that what I'm doing, we are just maintaining a crossfire and he, he kites out. That's 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 a sign of a good player. He he, he cannot do what the Kurfus is doing. He will melt again. Like he would give me arsonist or a witherer. And why would you give us Zhao any achievements? I would not either as well. So... At this point, this looks like a World of Warships video, right? I'm talking about WoWs, what's happening, what's not happening, what the Kurfus is doing, what the Montana is doing. Kurfus keep doing the same thing. Again and again, it's like, oh, 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 ooga, booga, booga, I push. Don't know why. I have no idea why they keep doing it. 
बट एनी वे वेनेजिया किल्स अशीमा काजी ऑन दैट साइड सो इफ यू नोटिस देर आर टू डिस्टर्स एनिमी टीम हैज लॉस्ट फोर डिस्टर्स मे बी देर आर थ्री सॉरी आई कैंट काउंट आई कैन नॉट काउंट आई एम सॉरी देर आर थ्री डिस्टर्स बट द वेनेजिया किल्स द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑन देयर फ्लैंक वी किल द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑन आवर फ्लैंक सो इज ओनली वन डी डी वाइल ऑल थ्री ऑफ आवर्स आर स्टिल अ लाइफ नो नॉट the marsh was dead anyway but we still have a dd advantage we have a cap advantage we have a ship advantage now tell me one thing if you have this and you know that there's a cyclone setting in 1 minute 23 seconds why would you fucking push just hold on create a blob create a big blob of ships which cannot be pushed this is basically a death wall at this point we have already secured two caps there's no threat to the b cap other than some uh, single or double ships pushing from a to b and that's where the venezia is there and i will go somewhere i'll try to go somewhere near e5 so i can you know ha make a crossfire with the venezia and stop them from pushing that's the end condition that's the win condition we win gg so at this moment you see the death ball has no reason to charge forward especially the salem has no reason to charge forward you look where he is charging there's a demoin there which can just use his maybe propulsion mod legendary mod to go outside get his broadside and delete him there's a montana so your cruiser especially a demoin class cruiser which has a huge and easy to hit citadel you're showing broadside to a demoin and montana what do you think will happen while being spotted the cyclone hasn't set yet If the cyclone was at eight kilometers and he pushed, then he would have won. We won the Monta, uh, the Demoin, and won. That would have been a very good strategy. But now he's dead. And you know what bad people do when they die like this? Uga buga buga. Team, for fuck's sake, G K Moskva. Like it's okay that even I don't like the idea of having like five ships, four ships in the same fucking square of the map, or the same line very close to each other. At this point. That's the best thing to do. What will they do? A kiting Montana, kiting Swallings, pushing into them is giving them arsonist with error and getting killed. No reason, no reason to do that. They can just split up, come to B. Now there are more enemy ships at the A cap coming to B. So it's isn't it obvious to just come to A and like defend B and we just win? And if you if you misplay, if you die in like seven minutes of the game, which we have already technically won. even if everyone on the a flank dies even including the cv dies we still win the game but you are still dead in such a game in like 6 minutes while doing nothing absolutely nothing why are you spamming like this useless fuck you fuck you useless cunt useless now you move your fucking ass like okay why you are the hell hmm like they literally helped you to get the cap to kill the dd to kill everyone to push all of them back and they are the worst team players god this guy hasn't seen team players yet he hasn't seen world of warship seen players so at this point i see the montana coming to the b cap to secure it there's a zao which can push so there's a chance that in a 1v1 uh, like zao as a zao i might die maybe he is already angled enough i push into him he tops me or citadels me something like that but there is a montana coming so it's so i can i can be brave i can be brave and get the zao killed right very easy so i just turn around at this point i see montana hindi coming to be save b this maland is going to go help the venezia because the venezia ping that there is a destroyer there i on the flank one more thing why is the destroyer there on the flank you you know that there are like There's a Veni. Why? Why would you push a Venezia in a destroyer? And you have no fucking support. There's a cyclone setting. Venezia is the fastest. He's faster than Yoshino. He's faster than half the D half the DDs without engine boost. That thing does thirty eight knots with speed flag. Why would you push? But anyway, he's pushing. Good for us. Bad for him. The Smaland is going there. Smaland will radar. Finish him. There's a midway there as well. Anyone can just spot him, and that flank is gone now. and montana hindenburg they are coming to save b and c there is a crossfire going on moscow kurfu hindenburg they are all cross firing the entire region from like h6 to h10 so the point i'm trying to make is the salem who died and especially when you die you are automatically useless if you die in the first 8 minutes and you get maybe like one ship killed you are useless that that's how the game works and now he is like yeah let's let our allies die on the other front that's what you can do like what like 
if you are being toxic to me i'm going to be toxic to you as well man man i'm uploading vids oh sure sure thing man i should really go check his youtube channel hmm. maybe he maybe 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 guys maybe maybe he is a good player maybe he just messed up and he is just angry that you know could could happen we'll see we'll see at the end of the game was a true story now here i see azao i see azao i did not expect him to be there why because a i was paying attention to the chat and i was arguing with that guy that this is a very bad move from my side i shouldn't have but i in in any way i reacted before him look at look where the zaos guns are he should have just loaded ap turned and dev strike me in my turn but he didn't he is trying to torp me as well but i turned faster i turned before him and boom he's dead and you know what uh, did like 12000 damage to the zao or montana this is why i pushed with the montana a zao cannot defeat a montana and another zao at the same time does not happen on the other hand the venezia also manages to turn maybe he just used a smoke turned full broadside in the smoke in front of the yoshino and torped him to death gg the game is done then why are people complaining you are a cancer for every team game like there's a battleship in b there's a battleship in there was a battleship in c d there are literally people in their enemy spawn which pushed up to you know secure the victory there are two people who went to the other flank to help the venezia there's the small and went to the venezia to help him out help the c v and the venezia out like what is this maybe you let your other ally, like what is this mentality why are you at tier 10 if you cannot read the basics of the game like at this point i can't even say you are a good player that that's how you trigger and makes everyone's day bad fuck you fuck you useless like holy shit what the fuck man the cv finishes the game and that's the end of the deal here the game is done game will be over in like 10 seconds well played when it's yeah the rest useless now at this point i was reminded of one thing now what is that phenomenon called when you are a bad person in any field but you have a lot of confidence right may i think it's a dunning kruger effect right so this game is done and guess where the salem player is maybe he is hmm i'm pretty sure he he is at either either he is at i'm pretty good like very close to pretty good but doesn't have the attitude to know that he has limitations maybe maybe he is a very good player who messed up or maybe he is at i am so great part okay so let's see the after game results right 134k damage four citadels two torps on the zao dev strike blah blah yada 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 pretty solid game for a zao especially given the match making with the cyclone with everything with the cv the tristofen would have two shot me but anyway i got ignored by the tristofen good for me i am at the second place the venezia deservedly is on the first place he kept the a flank secured got a dev strike on a dd maybe i think he got an almost full hp damage on the yoshino he damaged maybe the venezia he killed the shima as well so this guy played really well now oh, where is the salem he is dead he was dead in 8 minutes he is here and he called everyone above him useless the entire game after he messed up and died but you know maybe maybe there are times when you play like you are a good player but you want to like play aggressive and make mistake and go and sometimes you rage right or wrong like come on you threaten to make a youtube video you threaten to shame other players like at least be good if you are trying to do that if if flamu says that some player is bad and if the team is team's positioning is bad i can understand he is like the top 10 russia player i i don't know i don't really care even like improve your fucking attitude go from i am so great now that guy should actually go to i know nothing this is where he should go this is where he is right now i am so great he there is scope for improvement there is always scope for improvement and i hope he does anyway so this is this is my take like if someone starts insulting you for no reason like there is no reason to you know just take it calmly 
and anyway if you like the video like subscribe report deport anything thanks and have a good day